Welcome back everyone to another video. Today we're playing some of the PAX Botanica mod on Hearthline 4. And I think for this video we're going to play as Britain because I think uh, it kind of fits with the overall mod. In this mod we have rations which, in a way, I kind of feel like that would be interesting in the base game or something. But then that's just an extra probably gimmick you'd have probably have in the base game. Uh, we got a total of 14 divisions in the British Isles. And then we got one down here I guess. Are we going to have like the same as... Yeah, we also have Tunisia, which is interesting. Okay, your French has lost them. All right, we got a lot of, a lot of the, the, the decisions and events we could do. Okay, for some reason, we have Taiwan. Very interesting indeed. Oh, wait, now some of the thing is popping up. We can see the blue boxes around these, which is interesting. Yeah, we got like bits all around the world. It's quite weird. Mm, the colonies are the weird. We got bloody Madagascar. Uh, does the French have anything, I wonder? Yeah, this Germany here is very strong. It's pretty much all the German lands already together. Except from Prussia's independent, independent state of Prussia. That's probably something we're going to go straight after. Oh, wait, yeah, we need to um, grab a focus. Oh, wait, no, we can't grab a focus. Wait, we actually, we control the Nicaraguan Canal, which is a thing right here. Probably, probably we made it. Probably because of the Grand Columbia. Um, yeah, it kind of controls what Panama is. So uh, they probably wouldn't want to invest into Colombia. Guess there's some sort of foreign threat or something. That is very important. We need to know if a Tasmanian tiger is gonna stink. And then to the China. And to China. What? Oh wait. Oh, there's a civil war going on. Who's gonna win? No idea. Because we don't have any apparently intel on them. We can just look and wave, smile and wave, boy, smile and wave. I'm not really sure because obviously it's my first time playing the mall. I'm not really sure what is the best route to go down. So I'm kind of just trying to stick with the same route, um, the same ideology. So I'm not really going too far out of reach, but yeah. All right, let's start choosing our next prime minister. Okay, Russia's taken over Finland. The Russian Empire is getting pretty big. Actually, wait, have, have, yeah, uh, in, well, China has lost Mongolian stuff. So Russia's taking the opportunity and is, um, yeah, grabbing everything it can. I'm not really sure why the Irish are charging over this. If this one division goes here, it could have an extra spot to go from. Yeah, it does look like the Irish are going to get their capital, which means hopefully they stick under control. Okay, Ireland has a uh, has won. Okay, so when we won in uh, Ireland, it seems we also lost in Vietnam, or we want to call down here or something. Oh, I know it's a stalemate, so just shite isn't happening. Okay, well, so now Ireland is officially under control of the British. Don't really know if it's perfect for them to stay out, be a puppet, or be in and cause some trouble. Not really sure. We got a population of 57 million core, which is nice. Uh, I think it's just used that is only well, occupied. It says it was going to become cord. Well, actually, this has the negatives. This doesn't have any negatives, so that's probably what that is all about. I probably just sign it because of. Uh, this gives us quite a bit of, yeah, not really stuff we really want. So we're probably going to have to give them all that. Even if I wish I could have joined. We still got, they still got this though. Alright, it seems we can now go down these different continents. Uh, I feel like, um, wait, we can bypass it. Wait, what? Uh, okay, I feel like America, I mean, America's probably is a good place to have. Seems to be, well, there's usually got quite a good amount of resources there. It would be good to, uh, Bring about our puppetry, from our control. Uh, we, we've got quite a lot of, actually, division, factory-wise and stuff. The bloody United Commonwealth of America is actually pretty close to us. So, in a war, who knows? Uh, depends, what, what's our navy like? Yeah, we got a lot better navy than them, but still, it's still not as far apart as I would like. Man, they're going to war with Algeria. Our, our guys just keep going to war, they just don't... Don't want to leave shite B, I guess. I just really want to go to war. The Great Balkan War. That's going to be some fun to watch. What's going on? What do we have? We have Romania. It is literally like a free fall of them. We got Romania and... Uh, was it Serbia on the same side? Well, and Greece now. Greece has joined them. This is Bulgaria, Hungary, and Croatia. This is going to be interesting to see who wins this war. I think actually, uh, was it the Greece or Romanian side with it is? The anti hungarians I think they're probably going to win because of Bulgaria, I think, could be taken out quite quickly because they're encircled by Romania, Serbia, and Greece. And then they can, after that, all three of them should easily have to push into Hungary. Uh, it shouldn't be the hardest in the world. Winston Churchill apparently is in charge of the uh, British administration in India. It does look like we are, with his focus, we might able to unite all of our Indian stuff together. 
which should make it a bit stronger. Should uh, allow us to show something a bit better. Maybe then we can go after these guys and uh, fully unite India. We now have the United Domains of India, which hopefully we can use eventually to uh, probably take the rest of India and have one a big United India under our control. A puppet has became a puppeter. I kind of realize uh, infantry rations. Uh, yeah, I'm creating a lot more, over 127 a day. I don't really think I need that many rations. I am making quite a big army. We do go, yeah, over 700k now. Once we get the rest of our divisions, it'll be close to 800. So, we're starting to get a sizable army going. I'm not really sure when this, a big war is going to break on stuff. I might try and get these guns early. Okay, there's a lot more wars in the world going on than I thought. There's quite a lot, actually. Which is nice. Well, nice as in, you know, there's more in, there's more gameplay happening to do. Wait, yeah, that war with Russia, all of them's ended. What has it done? Okay, so Russia has some... Um, well, we'll just say some puppets, pretty much. China, yeah, looks um, a bit more weak than before. They still probably be pretty strong, no way. Okay, the Kingdom of Hawaii has joined our faction after we talked to him a bit and all that. Some, some of that happened. Okay, well, yeah, France is making more progress. They've, uh, oh wait, France is actually getting pretty strong. France has united up with Italy and Spain. Well, not united, but they're in the same faction. And they've taken a... Uh, the south of Belgium, which... Right, I've just finished, like, my second round of making troops, and now we have 1.46 million. So, um, I think once this war kicks off, we should have a good amount of troops, but... Yeah, currently, I'm not really sure when this war's gonna kick off. Nothing's really happened, and I can't really see many, um, focuses to do with, really, the war. So, I don't know when that's gonna pop up, unless it's gonna be once we've reached 1957 with this election. You know what, I'm getting a little bit bored here just sitting around building an army, so why not uh, use some of these things to go out war with some people, like um, uh, this one here, which uh, we would declare war on this emirate. Uh, the second division of Africa has just happened, a toast to job well done. Right, should we do it? So, declares war on these, or is it, okay, we have to wait 21 days. And we also have this one, which we can do, declare wars on Yemen. That could be interesting if we're going to try and take um, quite a lot around here. Don't know if there's oil around here or that much oil around here in this mod. Uh, yeah, there's not really any oil here, but that's okay. Uh, we've just declared war. Uh, if you just flag try there, they just take off that guy there. Uh, this should be over very quick, and especially if we send him up there. Uh, these guys are sinners, so they should probably just go in. You should attack from behind to increase that. Yep, and uh, there you go, we got them. And uh, we don't even have to do a peace deal, apparently. Apparently, you just give it to us straight away, which I guess is good. We don't have to go through that process, even if the outcome is probably going to be the same. I'm just going to take it. Okay, they've got here just in the nick of time, which is good. We can send these guys weapons for support, so I guess we'll uh, send them support. Maybe maybe I might get something out of it at the end. Well, I was looking at this. I was like, oh, wait, this can get me to war with uh, France eventually. It's like a war with Germany. As I was looking at it, um, I think they've broken out of war, yeah. Which I think we need to join. Kind of looks like the French are, uh, well, the borders stay the same, but in a way also kind of makes it look like the French. Okay, the Russians have declared war against the Germans. So yeah, I think we definitely need to get involved on the German side, or Germany is probably gonna, Germany joins Britain. Well, I'll tell you, it's the opposite way around, I guess, but... Oh, wait, no, have they joined our faction? I think that's what it is. Yeah, Germany's joined our faction, so we're pretty strong. We are in war with... Thing. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, why the hell are Germany at war with, like, Afghanistan? God damn. America's pretty strong, factory-wise. Yeah, we have built a lot more now, which is good. Um, yeah, it's gonna be... Okay, Nova Russia. Oh, that's the Alaskan puppet, the Alaskan territory. Hoping I can attack from Britain here and then uh, push on in. Um, what does the borders look like? I'm surprised Russia hasn't joined their faction. Oh, that is um, not a good border, I would imagine. <laughs> okay, we look quite screwed, to be honest. Germany is kind of getting a circle from every side, and this war might be over uh, before it really even started. Oh, wait, the Americans have left our well, faction. They've left, but they have given us like a bit of a reward. For some reason up here. Hmm. Well, this has gone even messier. We are now at war with 
these guys. Okay, the Netherlands has clashed, which is not good. And uh, they don't really look like they have enough divisions to hold that. Oh, they've made it through the south. How do they have so many, like, so low divisions? 49. I thought by now they would have, like, 200 or something. The thing is, if Jimmy falls, I don't want to lose all my divisions. So I don't want to, like, thing them all up in one place. Hmm. Well, f god damn, France has took an um, pretty much all of this. Yeah, this is why I called them out, because of one state thing, we are going to be screwed. National Worker State of Germany. And then, has Russia taken, like, Bohemian stuff? Your Bohemian Berlin administration, yes. Yeah, when I look at this, I'm kind of like, hmm, I did kind of really screw up, didn't I? The main thing was, because this is the first time playing, I didn't realise uh, how weak Germany was. I thought Germany would have been able to, like... Not beat them, but I thought they would have had like 200 divisions and would have been able to hold them off on both sides. And then, you know, they could have hold it off for we did the naval invasion over to France and open up some frontier. But no, they just didn't manage anything really. Yeah, I kind of feel like our planes are outdated. Um, our planes are getting hammered. We are losing so many planes. How many planes did we just lose at? We still have 6k, but we lost so many planes there. And I don't really know if we're... This is another thing. We need to get naval superiority if we're going to get across. Which is the annoying thing. Yeah, the issue is we're building really old planes. Because I kind of didn't... I kind of didn't expect to go to war. Kind of like this. I kind of didn't prepare correctly, mainly. The good thing is, a lot of our eastern side... Like, all of this is pretty much safe. Unless they're going to get a big navy and try and... Navy invade all that. I know this is pretty much safe, too, really. Africa... Uh, they're holding the line on Africa. Well, these guys used to be a war of us now. I think they break... Wait. Wait. Oh, wait. They broke independence. I think... Oh, yeah. Because they were the Americans. Oh, I see. So, people with the Americans at the time have gone with the Americans. But I've built a bit better. I probably should actually change the, the look of it. But, yeah. I built a bit better of a plane. I don't really know how good it is. But, I'm hoping this could do us a job on defending our ocean. At least once we start... I'm going to put them back on the duty of doing this because i'm hoping that maybe we'll allow we'll stop them from naving by the mine which then will allow me to ship more shy in which then means i can then make more planes and bear planes will be eventually and all that okay this might be actually a lot harder than i thought it might even be impossible really at this point it looks like they're there they kind of are just pulling all the troops on the coast knowing that something's gonna come eventually yeah, at least get rid of this stuff, giving us minus, and then we also get some pluses, which, you know, as long as we win the air battle, I guess, we, we've taken some dub, I guess. Oh, wait. Wait, they've joined our faction again? What is this stuff? They came back to us. I guess it's kind of good for us, because we do get their navy on our side. Okay, we've got a bit of an issue. Um, this thing has gone stuck on my screen in the... Um, the yeah, air doctrine. I should say, I don't think this is actually due to the mod, because I was playing the base game, I think it was like two days ago, and the same thing happened where the bloody f doctrines got stuck on my screen. I think I'm going to have to turn off the game. Wait, I can't even turn off the game. Oh, God damn. Uh, I managed to turn off the game and put it back on now, so we're back on in. Yeah, see, once we can get this stuff coming in, which I am obviously building a lot more convoys now, and with ships out here protecting the oceans, don't know why, I just looked up, up. I haven't looked at my manpower in so long. I got that much. Let's go to total mobilization, because I've got over 4 million free manpower. I did not realize that much. Also, that's, that's actually a lot. Actually, we've increased our population by a lot. We have like 55 million core, now we have 62 million. That's a, is that correct? I swear it's like, something like that. We've gained so much core population or something. I've sent these new planes in, and they don't really seem to be dying too much, which is good yeah okay we do actually have air superiority now and i think because of our new planes yeah we're actually currently taking on taking down more of them okay well it's just kind of flown up but wait we must have actually gone a naval supremacy for a second because of my guys want to cross which i have them set so that if we get naval supremacy they'll go straight across so we must have turned it for a second green for them to actually cross, which is good. Mm, even with our new planes, we're actually, we are kind of, you know, kind of just going between. If we can get full production going, we'd probably be in a lot better position. Let's do this, we can get some more of But I think I might end it off today. I would like to go further, but I'm trying, you know, get back onto the continent, but 
Yeah, with all of this, and if you look here, yeah, they can up to 2,000 factories now. Unless we had, like, someone like a lot of countries join us, the chance of us actually really managing to fight back is pretty much impossible. I feel like I wouldn't really like to do it, but I probably would have to spend hours just building up a big air force, a strong one, and then getting across the navy and all that, and then getting across, even then, you, we could get pushed back in the ocean so fast that it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I, I did enjoy this mod. I definitely want to come back to this mod in the future. I do want to play as Germany and see if I can do a better job as Germany, build more divisions. Like, if you have 200 divisions, I think they could probably definitely hold, and then I, and then I would have time to then... Or Britain would have time to nave invade, or if I was Germany, I could send troops to Britain and nave invade from there, or something like that. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. So if you did enjoy, just remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. So, cheers!